Hi, it's Stephanie and welcome to my channel. Finally in front of my bootcase. Um, kids are back at school, I've got the room to myself, everybody's out and it, this is great. So today we had our order come through on the classical books. My husband ordered a bunch and so did I. We didn't actually tell each other which books we were ordering so I'm hoping we haven't done too much of a crossover if any but I, the first two books that I had today delivered from all the way from the UK in yes I know I have an English accent um, but I actually don't live in the UK um, the first two books are Delaware by Virginia Woolf now I've never read any of Virginia Woolf's work and I'm not sure what to expect I've heard really good re uh, reviews I think I've heard some people say that Virginia Woolf's work is very good, so I'm going to give it a go, see what it's like. It's not like it's like a lot of pages, it's actually quite a thin book. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, and I had these, all the books that I've ordered are in this, uh, the Penguin English Library edition. These are really cute books, and they're really slim, and beautiful spines on them, if you're into aesthetics. And again, this book's not going to take very long to read, I'd imagine, probably, oh, this is closer to 300 pages. It's another good one that I'm looking forward to. I've never read it. I have tried to read it, I think, in the past. But I didn't appreciate it then. But I think I'm going to enjoy it and appreciate it this time. Those are the two books that I have ordered. I'm still waiting for, I think it's 14 more to come through. Next up is The Sound and the Fury by... Oh, who is this by? I just can't. Problem with these ones is William Faulkner. So the next one is The Sound of the Fury by William Faulkner. And these beautiful cloth bound covers by Indigo, of all places. And these are re <laughs> these are really nice solid books. Crime and Punishment. And these really nice small, this is a small one. Like it's, you know, my hand. Size of my hand. And this is probably going to be, oh wow, this is a big one. This is probably just over 700 pages. And who is this by? Oh, I'm not going to say this, am I? Fyodor Dostovsky. And this is A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. Now I've just read one of Ernest Hemingway's books and I actually quite enjoyed it. Didn't love it, but I did like his style of writing. So I'm willing to give this a go and it's still got the gold spray. These are really pretty books uh, and it's cloth bound cover. Another one, Indigo, published book. And this is, this is a big one. And it's from Whom the Bell Tolls. Again, Ernest Hemingway. Have heard of it, don't know a lot about it. Um, but this one will be one that I'll probably probably something i'll read next year rather than this year i don't want to be reading the same author throughout the year um so yeah we'll uh, we'll probably hold off on this one and we'll get to this one next year and this is the sun also rises by ernest hemingway and this is an awesome book same sort of deal going on with the cover and yeah i'll get to this when i can this is To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf and again it's in the Indigo published and it's got all these, these are going to look really great on the shelves. Um, I have, I think, do I have any more Virginia Woolf books coming? I don't think I do. I think this one and the other one, I almost got this and I'm glad I didn't since uh, my other half got did buy it. Um, so, and this one I did really want to read but I don't know why I just went towards the Mrs. Delaware. I think that might be more more my scene. But uh, looking forward to, to reading these books. These are going to be awesome. These are going to look, well, they're going to look great on the shelf. Look at these. Quite heavy when you get them uh, going. And I think, oh gosh, one, two, three, four. Oh, we've got five in this. And these bound ones, indigo bound ones. It's pretty cool. Love them. Got a lot to read. Got more coming. We'll probably get. Oh well, I will. I will keep you posted when the next ones come through. The Republican by Plato. Now I have not read any work from Plato. I've always steered clear of 
these sorts of works. I don't know why. I, thought, I think I found them intimidating. But I'm willing to give something like this a go just because one of my goals is to read books that are out of my comfort zone that I do find in intimidating. And I think this one would be quite a nice one to have a go, <laughs> she says, knowing nothing about it. Okay, that's it for now, and I will see you all soon. Bye.